Some people asked me how I created my Makeover Monday entry for the week, so here's a quick tutorial on doing this in Excel. Now we're only interested in the first three columns here, so I'm going to copy those. I'm just going to paste them in a new sheet, Control Shift V to paste values. And we're going to start by creating a bar chart with the all gender columns. I'm going to select the resolution, hold Control, select gender. And let's insert a bar chart. Now I want to sort these from the highest to the lowest. So let's just sort the source data. And you'll notice that if I sort largest to smallest, it'll actually be inverted on the chart. So let's sort smallest to largest instead. So that's the first step. Let me get rid of the title here. The second step is to use the female and male values as these sort of dumbbells or lollipops so we know how they diverged from each other and from the general population, including both the males and the females. Now to do that, we're going to have to create a combo chart. So if I go to the chart and select change chart type and go to combo, you'll see that we need another series. So to do that, let me close. I'm going to copy this data. I'm going to paste it transposed here, and you'll see why in a second. For now, let's just add a new series. Let's select the first series here. Select the values. Press OK. And once I do that, I can go back, combo. I'm going to want to plot this on a secondary axis. Now all gender is going to be a bar chart and the others are going to be a scatter plot with the straight lines and the markers. Press OK. And let's think about what we want to achieve with these lines here. So this is giving up smoking, which is this right here. And we want this line to be horizontal with the female value, which in this case is eight over here and the male value, which is four over here since this is six. So these are going to be my x axis values. And for the y axis, that's just going to be a number that determines the height for each of these so that they match the bars. So let's just write the numbers from 1 to 14 here. Let's fill series and copy and paste underneath since we need one of these for each one of these. And if we go back here, Select data. Let's edit giving up smoking. The x values are these, and the y values are going to be these right here. Press OK. Press OK. You'll see that now these are in a straight line. Move this over to the right a bit. Let's add the rest. So add the next series, x values y values and there it is that's okay let's add another one x y and there we go now let me just continue to add all of these and there we go now we have all of the series here let's press okay we can see them all here and now all we need to do is align them with these bar charts now right now we're going from 1 to 14 and if we try to modify our secondary y-axis here so that it goes from 1 to 14, you'll see that we're still off by just a little bit. So all we need to do is actually start at 0 0.5 and finish at 14.5. And now they are perfectly aligned. Let me move this over here. And if we want to get rid of this axis, all we need to do is go to labels and label position equal to none. Now all that's left to do is add the color to these. So we want this bar to be, let's give it a little smaller gap width, and a muted gray color so that kind of fades in the background. And we want to format each of these dots according to the male or female designation. In this case, it looks like female is the higher value, which is this one here. So let's make the markers a little bit bigger. No line. And this one, 
is going to be pink. Let's add a new color here. Maybe this one. Press OK. This one is going to be blue for male. And then the line, we can make the same color as the higher value. In this case, that is pink. Now we just go on to the next series. It looks like female is higher here as well. So let's make the line pink. Go over to the markers. No line. Higher one, pink. The other one is blue. And then we just continue this process for the rest. And there we go. Now you can add some more formatting, like deleting the grid lines or doing some other things, but that is the basics of creating this visual in Excel. Now I know it's a little bit tiresome and there's probably easier ways to do this in other tools like Tableau, but I still thought it was a pretty neat trick and ultimately a very effective visual.